A large part of this program is auto regulation. Um, I've said this term a few times over my time on, on the platform, uh, on this channel. Um, I've said it's kind of loosely auto regulation, auto regulation. Um, but what, what is auto regulation? Um, well, it's, I guess you can interpret it any way you want, but the way I think about auto regulation is self regulating the program. That's how I think about it. So if you think to yourself tomorrow, I'm going to come in and hit 5 by 5 at 80%. And then you come in tomorrow and for whatever reason, you want to feel up for it. Well, the skill of auto-regulation would basically uh, allow you to uh, adjust the load and the reps and the volume, all of that stuff, accordingly. So um, it's, it's a bit of a skill. Uh, you can fall into the trap of training, kind of under-training or not training hard enough. Uh, because you can always kind of err on the side of caution and be like, ah, I don't feel the greatest. I'll just, you know, take it easy today. I've said this in the past uh, many times or a few times, many times, that your brain tries to lie to you all the time. Um, it's, it's always some sort of battle against your brain to kind of get up and, and go. Um, this is why I think a lot of you guys find it, you know, uh, entertaining, find it motivating uh, when you see me go at it every day. For me, it's not even a discussion with my, with my willpower or my brain. It's, it's copping it. You, you're copping it, mate. Like, I, I don't really care what you have to say for yourself. We are going to work every single day. Um, the only thing that we might adjust is how hard we work. Uh, so for, for, you know, for myself, my conscious, subconscious like, uh, consciousness, it's always going to, you know, it's ready for always working. Um, but over the time, you know, 470 days in, I've learned... Um, the hard way sometimes, uh, how to go about training load. Um, I have done periods where I've completely screwed myself and I've set myself back because my willpower, my ego was stronger than my ability to auto-regulate and so that kind of gets you into trouble all the time. Um, but it's something that you basically don't know until you start warming up. So you can't have preconceived ideas about what numbers you're going to hit uh, it all depends on the warm up. So, you know, this is why I've kind of, you know, lent myself to these extensive warm ups. I've tried GHDs. I'm doing calf raises now. I used to do leg curls. Uh, I used to do leg extensions, all sorts of things, just to kind of like, you know, facilitate the warm up ability um, so I can have a better gauge of what's possible on the day. If I go straight into the squats, sometimes the ankles are tired, sometimes the hamstrings tired, sometimes everything's tired, and I, and I can't really get there. Um, so I purely go on the warm up. So once I warm up with whatever exercise I choose before squats and I get to about 50% of my one rep max, I kind of know how that moved and now I know what's possible. For instance, this morning, uh, it's a work day, so it's five o'clock in the morning. Um, not a lot of good things happen five o'clock in the morning for me in terms of you know, high volume or, or high intensity. Uh, so it's kind of like one of those workouts where you go in and you kind of just feel it out completely. You completely feel it out. I don't even know what I was gonna do. Um, so by the time I got here, I realized, okay, I don't have the pop <laughs> as I've defined it before. I don't feel all that explosive, all that um, energetic, all that stuff. I mean, it's five o'clock in the morning. So I just went, okay, um, I'm happy with the positioning that I have. So how about I do some pause squats? This is literally the decision I made one or two plates in. Um, and so from, from then on, I started kind of thinking, all right, I'm going to head towards 180, you know, head towards, that doesn't mean I will, head towards 180 kilo ATG pause squat um, because that's what's, what, what was offered uh, for me uh, today. My body offered me mobility. So I was quite happy with the mobility, but I didn't have the strength. So I couldn't push 190, 200, and I certainly didn't feel energetic for some high rep stuff, um, but the mobility was there. So I was gonna say, okay, no worries. So let's hit a really mobile dead stop squat 180. Um, now, I wasn't sure if I was going to hit 180. I just thought, okay, let's let's have that as the aim. 160 was the, basically the pace setter for me, was the trailblazer. If 180, 160 moved correctly, then 180 was going to be an option. But what I'm trying to say to you guys here is that, you know, through example, is that I never know what I'm going to do on a given day. Uh, it just depends on what my body gives me. Um, this is a skill. Um, this is what I basically try and teach everyone. Um, not just in weightlifting, uh, just in life in general. Like you can't force things. Um, willpower is great, ego is great sometimes, uh, but you kind of really need to learn where the boundaries are um, because if you overreach too often, um, you're going to stick your head out too far and you might get hurt one day. Um, so this is how I made it to 470. 
Uh, some of you guys think I'm not improving. Uh, some of you think, some of you guys think that I am improving. I know deep down that I'm headed in the right direction. I'm, I'm really happy where I'm headed. Um, and it's all aided by this ability of auto-regulating. You need to be, I guess even another word, autonomous in your programming. Um, nobody can write a program that is specifically for you, 100% for you. Um, obviously, if you've just walked into the gym for the first time, this is 180, by the way, guys. Um, I kind of talked over it, but anyway, 180 was a bit of a slow, slow event, but I'm quite happy with that. Um, no, nobody can write a program for you, exactly for you. You know what I mean? You can get kind of near the ballpark if somebody's really experienced, um, but I really encourage everyone to just be, you know, active and and and, and think about rationale rationale behind decision making with your programming understand why you're doing stuff don't just do it for the sake of doing it now i understand you know i'm seven seven years into this you know really serious training so i've kind of like developed a whole database of information about myself but it doesn't really matter if it's day one or day 470 just start accumulating data start thinking about what, what your body's telling you um you know if something feels tight think about that you know what, what are the muscles involved in that joint for that joint to be tight um, there's so much information on the web right now we live in a world you know in the data age information age so there's a lot of information at your fingertips all you got to do is just kind of get a hold of it and, and read it and, and kind of direct yourself um, basically it's kind of like you're, you're, you're making the, the ultimate recipe to your favorite dish every day you kind of like you're making it you're, t- you're tasting it and you're like, okay, I need a bit more calves. I need a bit more hamstrings. I need a bit more glutes or whatever. Like you're always kind of tinkering with it. This is how I approach training. Um, so if, if at the start of the workout, I'm like, well, my back is fried, which it is today still. So this is day two of me being really tired. Um, but I decided still to do GHDs just to get some blood in there. Uh, it wasn't like the, the fatigue that I had yesterday, you know, uh, you know, you don't, you don't push yourself. You, you do what you can. And don't be afraid if you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to do five five sets, you end up doing four. Like today I did four. Four sets of 20 instead of five sets of 20. The fourth set was a bit of a, okay, this is a bit of a struggle and let it go. And that's that's how you do it, man. Order regulation is a very, very big part of my health of this Quad Every Day program. Over time, I'll, I'll talk about this a bit more. Um, I'm happy to answer your questions like always, guys. I appreciate you, but i got to get out of here and earn some money today. All right, guys. Catch you later. Peace.